Hi everyone! I'll be showing you today of how I did my ombre purple lavender hair. After 4 months of my rainbow hair, the 2 inches black hair roots are showing. I should bleach them first in order for the lavender to show off. But first, I'll put pure coconut milk to minimize the damage from the bleach. And then it's bleaching time! I put bleaching powder and 6% 20 volume of cream developer. For more details of how I bleach my hair, please check some of my previous video of how I bleach my hair. After 40 minutes, I rinse it all, shampooed and towel dried. And ta-da! No more black hair roots! Next step is toning down the brassiness of my hair. For faster toning, I'm gonna be using high volume 30% cream hair developer and I use Tuella Toner T18 Light Ash Blend. Since the mixture is watery, I used a cotton ball. I dip it into the mixture and put the toner only at the orange roots. Then I've waited 45 minutes to develop and rinse it off. And this is my before and after the toner pictures. Next, it's coloring time! I put a lot of conditioner and just a half of teaspoon of Manic Panic in Lilac's color. And also, I put a tiny bit of color Flamingo Pink of Directions. And I put it all over into my hair. Ta-da! This is my pulper hair! As you can see, I have lavender hair. Um, I did this last night and this is the result. I'm still not comfortable with this hair because as you can see, there are still some spots that needed some colors. So this time, these try to recolor this. Alright, it's coloring time part 2. 
I used the color lavender from the directions, color lilacs from Manic Panic, and flamingo pink of directions. To make a gradient effect, I'll be putting lavender in the upper part about 3 to 4 inches from the scalp and then the flamingo pink in the middle part and the color lilacs at the lower part of my hair. It's getting dark. It's almost 6 p.m. when I'm recording this video. I'm sorry for poor lightning. I wasn't expecting that it will consume 3 hours in making a video. But if without the video, it will only take 1 hour the maximum of coloring my hair. I applied directly the lilacs to the end part of my hair. I didn't mix that with a conditioner because I want that color to last longer. If you happen to mix that with any conditioner, since it is a semi-permanent color, the colors will fade faster compared to those parts you applied purely. And it will gradually fade every time you shampooed your hair. By the way, you guys, the Manic Panic and Directions color should not be mixed with any developing cream or solutions. It is preferably be applied purely or with the conditioner. And this is my hair. I've waited 3 to 4 hours for my hair to develop. And this is the major result the day after. I love it so much how my hair is changing its color depending on the lights. If I'm on direct sunlight, the color is more on pink purple. If I'm in indoor lightning, it's more on blue purple. As you can see, the upper part of where I put a lot of conditioner, it fades faster than the lower part where I put pure color in it. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and as you can see, my hair is really fading from the lavender color, from the gradient lavender color. So there you have it guys, that's how I did my gradient lavender hair. I hope you like it and you've learned something. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless everyone!